Evelyn Chumbo tells her friend and mentor, Martina Vandenberg, about how she helped put her trafficker behind bars and went on to become a survivor leader with a national reach. My situation started from me being a child in Cameroon. When I was told that I was coming to America in the meet, 90s, I was so excited. I thought that America was just going to be like the Cosby show, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, 90210. Never did I think that I would come to the U.S. and become a victim of domestic servitude. My own uncle sold me to my trafficker. I worked from age nine until 17. No school, taking care of two kids cooking and cleaning, slept on the floor. I was being physically and mentally abused. When you escaped, what were the things that were most helpful to you? Having someone there that I could trust, that I can be open with, that gave me a reason not to be afraid that everything was going to be okay. And that person was my lawyer, Melanie Unhart. My case was investigated all the way back to Cameroon. We went to trial. The trial was one of the most difficult things that I had to do because I would see the trafficker again. You went through this really difficult experience and you testified against your trafficker and you put your trafficker behind bars. But then how did you become such a powerful leader in the movement? A news person wanted to talk to me about my story. And I was like, nah, I can't do this. I just want to be done with it. And Melanie said something to me. You have to share your story. People need to know that this is happening and it is wrong. Evelyn, you have had such an enormous impact on the human trafficking movement in the U.S. And you served on the White House Council to make policy at a national level as a survivor. One of your most powerful moments that I ever saw was the conference in London. Oh, yes. You got on the stage in front of 800 people and you said, I'm tired of telling my story. I don't want your sympathy. I just need a job. Trafficking survivors need jobs. What do you think needs to change in the human trafficking movement? Words are great. Words are powerful, but action speaks louder. Ten words. There have been so much work that have been done to abolish slavery in 1865. History always repeats itself. I see you as an abolisher, Martina. I see myself as an abolisher. And all the survivors, I see us as new generation abolishers. If you remember, Harriet Tubman went back, was getting people out. And that's what I want to see. You are a modern day Harriet Tubman, <laughs> a complete inspiration. And it's an honor to work with you. And same to you, Martina. Thank you very much. You're my partner for life. <laughs> These Voices of Freedom were recorded and produced by StoryCorps in partnership with the Office on Trafficking in Persons at the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. For more information, visit acf.hhs.gov slash OTIP slash voices.